This topic is about logic gate circuits and there's a lot of relation to Boolean. Um, this will lead on to what's called Boolean algebra. Logic gate circuits fits with computer science and it's also a topic covered in electronics. It all spans back to George Boole. He was an English mathematician and in 1847 he introduced a notation of logic and this was known as Boolean algebra. We know from programming so far that we've used a variable, a Boolean, and that variable can hold true or false. And that is the basis of this logic. So, for example, uh, you might have a statement here. It is raining today. If you look out the window and it is raining, then yes, that statement is true. Or you could say, it's not raining. So therefore, it is raining today would be false. So the whole idea behind Boolean is that everything can be divided into two values, true or false. So George Boole, he introduced a system of Boolean variables, zeros and ones, true and false. Uh, he created a shorthand system which was known as Boolean algebra, and this was used to represent logic circuits. Now, Boolean algebra was actually created before digital computers. So until digital computers were around, it didn't have any practical application. So he came up with the concept of true or false, summarised as one or zero. So true could be represented as a one, false could be represented as a zero. And this has come into what we've done previously on binary number systems, where we've looked at the idea of ones and zeros in there. We could say a switch, if you think of a light switch, a light switch could be in two states. It could be turned off, therefore in a zero state, or it could be turned on and in a one state. You can see from this diagram there are two electric circuits, one here, one there. It's the same circuit, but the switch has been put into two different states. This is in the off state. You could summarize that as the fault state or a zero state. So when that is off, the light is off. And that is because no electricity can flow around the circuit. With this circuit, the light is on if the switch is on. So when the switch is on, it's connected. The switch is said to be in a true state. And the switch is said to be in a one state and the lamp is on. Now, at the bottom here, this is summarised as three tables. Uh, I want you to take careful attention to this table at the end. This is what we're going to lead on to, and it's something known as a truth table. A truth table shows us every state that a circuit could be in, and the result of the circuit. So in this one, the switch is zero, and therefore the lamp is zero. The switch can only be in two states. So the other state, if the switch is on, is in a one state, the lamp is also one. Now we could have two switches. Two switches means that there are now four possibilities. And hopefully you can start to see the correlation between two to the power of. Two switches, two to the power of two, means cut four combinations. One switch previously, two to the power of one, gave us two combinations. If we went to three switches, two to the power of three would give us eight combinations. And so that increases just as we've learnt with those powers. This circuit is slightly different because as the electricity flows round, if neither of them switches is turned on, there isn't a way of completing the circuit. Whereas if I turn this switch on, the circuit can be completed and the light will come on turn that one off again, if I turn this one on, the circuit can be completed. If I turn both switches on, the circuit can be completed. So what we are saying is switch A is zero, switch B is zero, then the lamp is also off. If switch A is off, but switch B is on, the lamp is on. Let's turn switch B off and switch A on, the lamp is still on. And if both switches are on, the lamp is on. This is known as an OR gate. 
And if you think back to programming, this relates with programming. If a is greater than or equal to zero, or a is less than a certain number, so it has to meet one of the conditions. And this is what this is saying. As long as one of these is a one, is on, then the result will be on. So in summary, let's name these switches X and Y. X or Y must be switched on to light up the lamp, or if both are on. We start to get down to what's called a Boolean equation. And for an OR gate, this is written like that. Q equals X plus Y. The plus means OR. So when that we are actually talking about it in reference to um, logic gate circuits, we will say OR. So that will read as Q equals X or Y. So that circuit is showing X or Y. Another function is the AND function. Again, this falls in with what we've previously done with programming. So the AND function is where both switches would need to be on in order to satisfy the condition. Let's think of a fridge. So, refrigerator. The only time the light comes on inside the fridge is when the door is open and the power supply is on. Take one of them situations away and the light won't come on. So the door is closed, the power's off, there'll be no light. Door is closed, power's on, there'll be no light. Door's open, but power's off, there'll be no light. Door's open, and power's on, there will be a light. And that is known as an AND function. We could summarise an AND function as a circuit like this. So the only time the electricity is going to flow around that circuit is when both those switches are turned on. In a Boolean algebra, a full stop is used to represent AND. So this equation reads Q equals X AND Y. So we've got OR and AND. Just before we continue, I'll just give you a 15 second pause to have a think what other functions there may be. That's right, there's the NOT function. NOT inverts the input. So NOT turns 0 into 1 or 1 into 0. So when the switch is off, the lamp is on. When the switch is on, the lamp is off. And NOT is written like NOT X or in Boolean algebra, it's written with a line across the top. So Q equals NOT X. We can start to look at combinations of circuits. So here is a combination of an AND and an OR. And if we have a think what this is saying, it's saying the result is X and Y or X and Z. So if we're going to write that as a Boolean algebra expression, X and Y or X and Z. We can then factorise it, just like we do in maths, and take out a common factor of x and say x and y or z. And that's really what we're seeing here, x and y or z. So it can be represented in this manner. Little task that you can have a go at now, how would we represent this as a truth table? So draw this out as practice, and this is what we will do in lessons. Pause the video now. Okay, so hopefully you've got a truth table drawn out for this. And if we just look at the circuit, what have we got? Well, we've got three switches, X, Y, Z. So we're going to have two to the power of three combinations. So if I put these in here, X, Y, and Z. 2 to the power of 3 combinations, how many is that? You're right, it is 8. Okay, so 
the way we write these out is always as if we are counting in binary so they are always in the distinct order 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so that gives us our 2 to the power of 8 combinations. The truth table will look at the different parts of the circuit. So if we're going to look at this final equation, it's saying x and y or z. So the first thing we'll do is y or z. Then do x and y or z, which is our final result. So looking back at this, y or z we're going to do first y or z all we're ever going to look at is two columns zero or zero is zero or one so we're looking for at least one one and as we go through the result is that next thing we're looking at is x and y or z well here's y or z so it's x and this zero and zero is zero zero and one zero because remember an and you've got to have them both as ones zero and one zero zero and one zero one and zero zero one and one 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 and one 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 and one one and that is the truth table answer Okay, don't worry too much if you don't understand this. Uh, this is something that we're going to address in lessons, but if you can follow that process through, um, this will help. Now, each of the logic gates has a symbol. Here are the symbols, and there are a couple of extra gates added onto this. We can see the AND, and the OR, and the NOT that we've looked at. We can see how these are expressed as a Boolean expression. There are also three extra gates there. The NAND gate, which is a combination of AND and NOT. So that is reading as NOT A and B. The NOR gate, which is saying NOT A or B. And the EXCLUSIVE OR. EXCLUSIVE OR means is either A or B but not both so the truth tables for each here then is the AND gate the AND gate is showing that we have A and B as inputs and the result Q Q equals A and B and here is the truth table so the only time we get a 1 in the Q is when we have a 1 and a 1. The OR gate. So the OR gate result is true if either input is true. So here we've got the A or the B going in. And if we see a 1, then we've got a 1. There's our Boolean expression. We've got the NOT gate. NOT gate only has one input and it inverts this. So A goes in. It's given us Q. So if A is 0, Q is 1. If A is 1, Q is 0. So it inverts the result. NAND gate then. The NAND gate was the interesting one. NAND gate is not AND all in 1. So 0 and 0 gives us 0, but let's NOT it to give us 1. 0 and 1 gives us 0, but NOT that, and it gives us 1. 1 and 0, NOTted, gives us 1. 1 and 1 would give us 1, but because we're not in it, it gives us 0. So take what we'd previously looked at with an AND gate and not all those. So 1, 1, 1, 0. And you can see that on there. So a NOR gate is taking an OR and not in it. So of an OR gate, we had a 1 everywhere we had a saw a 1. And a NOR gate is opposite. 
So where we don't see a 1, we have a 1. Otherwise, there's a 0. And the last one, 